Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Energy Healing Tarot 123. It's your girl and Chris Jim here to drop some jewels in love. Today I'm coming for the sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus and those cross watchers. This is a general message, so keep in mind it may or may not resonate with everyone. So take what's for you, leave the rest behind. All the information on booking personals is in the description box below. So let's get started. Aquarius, yeah, guys. Um, so all your I have all your cards laid out already. You know, I haven't revealed to myself even what's going on here, but from what I can see, and like your pre messages here is um, you're done with whoever you're dealing with. Someone else has caught your eye, like straight the hell up, and you're just done. Like, like you're seeing the truth, and whoever you're currently dealing with, you're seeing the truth now in that situation, and you're just over it, like. You want real love, I feel, with these um, side messages you got here. So we got the soulmate manifesting oracle here. And you got three side messages here. So the first one that came out was try to be a rainbow in someone else's cloud. And I think that this is someone else's attention that has caught your eye or vice versa, you know. But um, this is, you know, a sword here. But I just feel like you honestly, like you see truth and clarity like someone has came and gave you like this aha moment like oh I, there are people who can love like this and i can you know have flowers every wednesday and somebody will call me every day at 5 30 to make sure i got home safe like it's stuff like that like this whoever this person is that has stirred your attention like your emotions that they have just really shown you like there can be better like you deserve better and you're realizing that whoever you're dealing with is not it anymore, okay? This person who's coming in is truly being that rainbow in your cloud. So with that, I have another message here. This could be another group, same group. But, um, and where does the power come from? With, come from? It comes from within. Fierce, okay, fiery. Could be done with a fire energy here, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. But, you know... This is just like looking towards the past and it's like, you know what, forget that. Like, I know that I'm a badass and I could do this by myself. New beginnings are upon me. I shine abundance. And this is just, you know, seeing that, <clears throat> sorry, seeing that whatever it is that you need or you felt that, you know, you weren't getting in this relationship or, you know, your ability to even walk away from this because I feel like whatever it was that you were dealing with wasn't obviously in the best vibration. This is you vibrating at like your best right now. And this is when you realize like I'm good by myself. This person was no good. I wasn't getting anything out of this relationship. You know, um, there was nothing there. It, I feel the energy of literally maybe you were dealing with like energy vampire, someone who was just like sucking your energy out and taking away your power and like yeah, so you're realizing that I have my power. I have the power. The power comes from me. Like, I, can't, I don't have to or shouldn't be giving my power to someone else because this is my power that came from me. One second, guys. Okay. So the third message that came out was, I have found the one that my soul loves. And again, this is that person who has came in and has become the rainbow that has lit you up, allowed you to see the power within you, and has caused you to shine. So, yeah, again, more truth into this card here with the spade. But, yeah, whoever, let, let's just see. Let's see. So, the mutual soul manifests oracle for you and either your partner or this new partner we'll see oh never make permanent decisions on temporary feelings here so this is definitely the person that you're currently dealing with not the person who is catching your eye definitely so this is like i feel when i'm looking at this card I'm just seeing, like, situations that just, like, started. Like, I feel like it, something was kind of there, like, feelings. But it's like, 
I will feel better if this just seems so much more attached to the tree, like the words. I feel like the feelings weren't really as much of an attachment. Like this wasn't deeply rooted in like something that was true and sincere. Like it just like kind of happened, you know, and maybe it was like, you know, we hung out for a little bit and we was, you know, sleeping with each other once in a while. And, you know, we just figured we'd give it a try. But there wasn't like really nothing there. I feel like it was, to, it was time, like feeling time. You guys, you know, just taking time. I just feel like it, this energy of just t taking time or like one of those relationships where you come in and you learn how to grow or how to deal or maybe somebody was like out there. I'm seeing somebody who was like out there and this is like your first time actually trying to like settle and like be with someone, either you or the other person. Somebody is like new to the relationship game. I wouldn't even say so much commitment because I don't feel heavy that this this situation was going towards that. Like somebody, like this is like their first time ever like sitting steady with like one person, being monogamous, I guess you could say. And I don't feel like it, it was the best experience, especially for whoever the party was that is used to, you know, dealing with one person and being in like a relationship type situation, you know, where we're dating and we spend our time together and it's us. You know, I don't think that there's definitely a person like and I'm feeling more so that it's the partner that you're dealing with. I don't feel the that they were like physically cheating. I feel that they just could not stop entertaining whatever was going on around them. Like, their emotions, they couldn't just give you their emotions. They could give you all the physical, help you produce all this wonderful fruit. You know, you guys could always go out, have a good time. You know, the sex probably immaculate. Because literally, yeah, that would make sense why I seen that. Like, somebody was just like, but the sex is so good. And I couldn't understand that. And I thought maybe it was a new person. But no, the old, the person you're dealing with, the sex is probably bomb. But there's no true emotions. There's no true feelings attached to this situation here. And I feel that when you guys decided to, you know, give this a chance, you know, this it was a temporary feeling. It was like lust. You lustfully jumped into this. And you were trying to, like, really make it work. But now I just feel like someone has really come who is mature and more aligned with you and you're ready to make this move. Let's look deeper. So five card spread here. We have mutual energy between you and your person, your energy, how you feel about this energy, how they feel about this energy, the outcome and what's crossing here is the blocking energy from this that could either make this outcome go or not go, but we'll see as we get through the read, okay? So, the energy, guys. I'm walking away. Yes. Six of swords energy here. Underneath the deck, you guys definitely had the ten of swords. So, this is definitely where I'm feeling like you're, you're done with this person. You're not, like, you see truth and clarity in what you deserve, okay? This is just, like, really more confirmation. Uh, yeah, my legs are tingling at the knees. You're, you're leaving. These boots are made for walking, and I'm out of here. I'm walking. Peep the bottom of the stiletto is red. Yeah, I'm out. I can do this myself. Like, you're gone. You see clearly, like, you were investing in trying to grow and, like, make it happen. With some, like, I feel like a lot of you guys knew that this person wasn't going to be, like, long term. You knew, ideally, what you were getting into. I feel like for those of you who knew what you were getting into, this person probably like developed some more deeper feelings. Because like I said, regardless of how this other partner is playing out in this relationship, like what they're doing, you know, if they're emotionally attached to other people, they could even be emotionally attached to you. But it's just it's the immaturity of the relationship. And like, you know, you want more for some of you leaving is hurting your person. But in the same breath, they, they kind of know that they aren't up to par. Like, they still have a lot of growing and evolving to do. Like, I feel that eventually down the line, they will see the lessons that they were to learn in being with you. Like, hold my door. I'm here. Hold my door. Like, serious? <laughs> Can you just hold this bag for me? Like, 
I got three, you got one, can we at least be even? Like, I feel like you really help show this person how to be, like, more equal in a relationship here. But nonetheless, they still just weren't the one, you know? They just weren't the one. So there's that energy of moving on, okay? The way you feel about this. Yeah, you hauling ass. <laughs> like, you've been going back and forth about it. You have this other person. I mean, you could be tempted and thinking about cheating. Some of you are out here cheating, Essentially, yes, you're cheating. No karma is a BS, so you're going to reap what you sow. I'm, I'm sorry to say that for whoever those few people are. But, yeah, this is also those of you who are going back and forth. You're on the fence of whether or not you should really move forward. Because, again, the sex is so good. <laughs> like, things physically, like, it's, like, still the element of it can still, I feel like it can work out. Like, it can still work out. You know, like, maybe. I feel like whoever this this third party, this extra person is, this person on the outside is, they are really, for you guys who are really heavy on the fence of whether or not you want to leave your situation, this other person is spending some real good game. Real good game. For some of you, never make a permanent decision on temporary feelings. And if this outside person is making you feel good right now because maybe you and your partner is going through something, you need to take a step back and... Think about what you and your partner have going on and not don't decide to get up and leave your partner because this new person that you have met, say, maybe during quarantine, seems all of that. And, oh, my gosh, and they're so intellectual and they're so, yeah, they've been sitting in the house for a minute and got coming up with new game. If you ideally have something good at home. Do not entertain this outside person. This, don't make a permanent decision to leave someone that is growing and building with you for somebody on the outside. Mm. Okay. And the way your partner feels about this energy here, left out in the cold, oh. Yeah, there's a lot of you who are, who are hesitant leaving. Like, there's definitely a third party involved. Definitely. Your person just, they feel so, like, what the hell? Like, you, you, you just took, you kicked me out on the cold. Like, what happened? What happened? I don't feel like you're speaking much to this person. Like, it's really like, have sex, go to sleep. Good night. Little peck. Good night. Hey, how you doing? Oh, okay. Want to go out to eat? No? Okay, whatever. Oh, I cooked. I left the food. Like, there's an, there are some of these partners here who are being done dirty by some of you Aquariuses. I have to put it out there. Yeah, guys, don't mess up. Like... So this person, they feel like this like, but I'm really feeling the, the emperor status here with this person. And I feel like you're looking at them like they're a five of pentacles and there's whatever. But I feel like whatever you're running off to isn't the energy that your partner carries. Okay. Slight few of you, your partner also just know that you're leaving them. They know that they ain't shit and that you're leaving them. But on a more heavier note, I really feel a lot of you guys, like your partner is just like, like, what happened? Where did we go wrong? Like, how you just going to kick me out? <laughs> I have nowhere to go. Like, we were building together. Like, how you going to do this? I feel like for whoever that is, that person, like, I feel like they sacrificed a lot to come and be in a relationship with you. Again, learning. And maybe, again, you may have been their, like, first real serious person that they're coming and committing to. And they were giving you their all. And you just dashed out of here. You went for what someone else was offering. Something that I don't feel like is grounded and emotional here. Lust. Almost hollow. 
thin. It won't last long. Could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I may have said that. Got a little earth out here, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. And of course you. But let's see what's the outcome. Page cut. This is an apology. Yeah. I'm just getting a sense like <laughs> you're gonna realize like, um, damn. My person was a good person. I shouldn't have went and dipped over here. You guys went and became a rainbow in somebody else's cloud. You were trying anyway. Or you probably felt so lonely or felt so like... And this is kind of like a stingy type energy that I'm feeling. Wanted to just see what else might be out there. Feeling just a tad bit lonely. I feel like your person probably was like working and working hard. Trying to build and do and whatever they were focused on doing. You just felt lonely and you just reached out to this other person. Looking at all of this is like you're. With you being back and forth and doing this in and out type thing. Aquarius, I wonder if you're trying to come back and get your person. You realize that this per this third party was not it. Like you were, you made a permanent decision on some temporary ass feelings, some lust. Let's see what's crossing this moving forward here. Ooh, that communication and coming fast and harsh. You're going back and you're telling like. Yeah, there's some truth and clarity that you you realize in all this communication that you've been doing with this person here. There's some arguing. Trying to get person found out about you in this third party. Crossing together that seven swords. Some lies, deception, which we know with that Knight of Wands, that's player type energy, cheating. Okay, Aquarius. What I can, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Somebody got caught. Somebody realized that that third party wasn't up to par. You want your person back? Let's see. I did a deck, two of cups. The sex was so good. Go. See the six of swords. Cause somebody's getting some real clarity here. And it's coming in, yeah. Ten of swords all together. That's four swords with the six. That's ten. That's that ending. Like, I'm done. Fuck that. Oh, and I I don't even think I showed you guys, but underneath your soul manifestation, you had a uh, peace comes from within. Do not seek it without. And the peace sign, like, I'm out. I'm over this. I'm done. I'm really feeling like you guys, either you were trying to leave your person and it backfired on you. Let's see. Next two. Yeah. Somebody, Aquarius, here you go. You were out. You left your person. You wanted more. Yep. You left your person. It, maybe you found out they were cheating. That's seven swords there. You found out they were cheating. Actually, he's yielding too. That's eight swords. You were caught up in your head. Woo. Six here again. Still moving forward. Aquarius, you're still moving forward regardless how you look at it. Making a decision here. Ten and then a two. Wanting to heal, wishing and wanting more, wanting something different, wanting something better, knowing that you could have better, realizing where you're, yeah, three of wands. 
but you still got that back and forth energy here because there's something with the person that you're with. Maybe it is, you know, you found out that they were entertaining folks on the other side or you just don't feel like they'll live up to par. Or the sex is good with this other person. It could, uh, I hope you guys aren't like, because we're still kind of in that retrograde area. Mm. I hope you guys aren't um, consider, yeah, considering someone of the past because the sex was good. And maybe that's where your new partner just don't really stack up to the plate. But you need to be direct. Let's see. Six of Swords. You're on a fence about whether or not you need to move forward here. Trying to clearly see which way to go. You want something that's very fulfilling. What's the, yeah, something very fulfilling here. You don't know if you really want to walk away. That's what I'm saying. I was feeling that emperor type energy with your person. Like you guys have abundance together. You just feel like there's something better. <laughs> yeah, you want to change. You feel like there's something better. Now your partner's out left in the cold or they know you're leaving them. Maybe y'all divorce. Uh, Y'all divorced, and uh, you about to get half. Yeah. You're taking that love away. You're taking the love away. They've been trying to bring you everything, and they just feel without, like, don't leave. And you're just like, no, I'm leaving. I just pulled these... <laughs> I don't know why, because literally, I, it's like I don't need to clarify right now. You're leaving. You're working on leaving. It's third party. There's, there's something else. I'm telling you. Outcome, page of cups. You're happy. Whatever it is, it's going to bring happiness. Maybe finding out you're pregnant at last minute is bringing back in a relationship regardless to whatever. That's like a couple folks. Or maybe they're just, they're going to come back loving. Because you know with them that you are financially kind of straight. But they weren't bringing in the love to you and they're trying to swarm in with this love. I feel like the cup that they are trying to offer you will bring you happiness, but you're still blocking it. Yeah, it's going to bring you happiness. There's success in this cup. Truth be told. Very major. Could be dealing with a cancer. Judgment card here. Whoa, when did this happen? Okay, that was, um, didn't see that. <sighs> What'd I say? You could be. I said you could be happy. It could make you happy. <laughs> Truth be told. But you, you, you're not really, you're disappointed in this offer. I feel like that, you're just disappointed in it. You still want this to be over. There's, You don't feel like whatever it is that they're bringing you here, you're blocking it. You don't feel that it's not going to make you happy. Them birds going off. <laughs> But it just doesn't, it's not going to make you happy. Like, you know that. No matter what they try to bring you in, you just, you're disappointed. You're highly disappointed in what they're offering you and what they're trying to come in with. Like, you just don't feel like, you feel like that you could have so much, you just have this energy of feeling like you could have better. And there's nothing wrong with that. Let's see this Knight of Swords, because this is what's blocking you, and it's really, and it's also what's made. Maybe your partner could have said something, or like I said, there's communication from a third party that's making you feel better than your partner. Maybe your partner does give his emotional time to other people, or Him, him or her, you know, take it how it resonates, but they give their emotional attention to other folks. You're tired of arguing about this? 
and you 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 want to go back to someone else. But again, you're still yeah. You want something? You're tired of this. Like you want something else. It's arguing about you just want new action taken. You want to be successful somewhere else. Like when I see this and you have that one wand shooting straight up, that's this. This is that new action, something that you know will be successful. So you're blocking whatever it is that this person is trying to bring in. It's page of cup. They try. Yeah. Okay. There you are with that. Well, this is the king of wands, but. Not the ones. Fiery, moving out, passionate type energy. I want something new. I want something with more passion. I want someone who would stay with me. Yeah, we got these pinnacles. But you out here entertaining other people. You're leaving. You're on the fence, but I just, you're leaving. Peace out. Peace comes from within, but peace out. Peace. I'm done. Ten of Swords. I know. I see clearly now. Three of Pentacles, and this is actually the Seven of Cups. Been working with bullshit. Smoking mirrors. That's why I kept hearing that for you guys. Like, we try. You know, I put in the work with you. You're not ready for this. You're not. They're not. And you, that's what I'm, I, I'm, I said that, that a lot of you essentially knew that this person, they weren't ready. Love all cool here. Let's get three. But yeah, like romantic feelings was just under the deck. You, that's why I said someone else has stirred them. You realize that you can have better because your person is, okay, I'm not going to take all these, but pay attention to the red flags. You were doing that, okay, with chemistry. You, the, the chemistry was off with you guys. You felt that because they were busy entertaining other people. So you went and did the same. And you met someone who your soul loves. You realize it's time to take back your power. And that's just how it rolls. So, Spirit, what messages we got for Aquarius? Summarizing the Venus and love for July. Three cards, please. Aquarius. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully, okay? You are paying attention to someone else now. They were busy smelling other people, flowers all up in somebody else's garden. Now you in somebody else's garden. Your heart is warmed up. You're happy. You're feeling good about this. I just feel like with that window in the background, your person is seeing this. This other person is making you happy. Separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Letting go. Blocking it. Walking away. Leaving. Moving on. Being done. Understanding that you was trying to be with them and that was like, you know, that those were temporary feelings. It was lust. There was nothing stable and grounded in holding you guys tree up. Okay, there's no roots there. In past life relationship, you have known each other before. So it could be a karmic cycle that you're finally closing out. Lessons that you're finally learning. Learning what you're worth, what you deserve. You know, underneath the deck we have keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. And that's what you realize with this new person who has came in and became the rainbow in your cloud. Who has illuminated the dragon within you. Who has made you realize what you are worth and capable of having and attracting. So, yeah Aquarius, that was your message. If it hit home anyway, hit, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave your comments below. If you're not subscribed to the channel, hit the subscription button. Don't forget to hit the bell notification so you know when I drop. If you're on social media, follow me over on Twitter. Also on Instagram. We do it big. It's about to get bigger. Until the next time. Peace.